an AMI digital exclusive. My name is Dev. I was on season three of Employable Me, although back then I was going by the name Mari. Whenever. Uh, okay, go for it, actually. Come in. On season three of Employable Me, we met Dev. It would mean the world to me to find the right job. It would help me feel like I have a place. Dev was born with spina bifida and was recently diagnosed with ADHD. I personally identify as gender fluid, and so I kind of ebb and flow between the two. They, them are the only pronouns that have ever really kind of made sense to me. Despite their disability, Dev was eager to find employment. I'm like a completely different person, but I still have all those clothes. I was wondering if you are hiring. Dev's self-doubt. I constantly worry that I'm not employable. It's something that does kind of keep me up at night. Combined with society's preconceived notions of people with disabilities. When I've brought my cane to interviews, I receive fewer calls back. Made finding work a daunting task. It's been very difficult. But a visit to career counselor Daphne provided a new perspective. I noticed the cane. It's not something to see as a liability because it is not. It's just something that an employer needs to do a workaround over. And that's fair game. And they do workarounds all the time for all sorts of things. Thank you. I, I think I really did need to uh, hear that. With renewed confidence, they met with Community Living Toronto. We're thrilled to uh, have an opportunity to meet with you today. And, and was offered a summer position as a communication and outreach coordinator. I'm really excited to, to get this job. I think I'm on the right path, and I'm moving forward, and I'm actually progressing. I'm just going to keep growing and keep getting better, and I feel really happy right now. Yeah, seeing myself in that recap, it's, it's so weird, because uh, I feel like a completely different person. And with my transition and everything in there, it's like my face is different, <laughs> my voice is different. Um, all the clothes and the style is the same, but the, the actual person feels like a completely, like, different human being than who I am right now. Dev is a podcaster, freelance writer, and advocate for marginalized communities. Since I was on Employable Me, I got rid of my hair, I started medically transitioning, and uh, my face is starting to actually uh, look a lot more masculine. I'm, my facial hair is growing in a little bit more. I finally got this like little goatee and my little teenage boy mustache. It's not exactly like my identity has changed, but now that I have more masculine traits, uh, being able to go back and forth feels like I can actually do that and people will perceive me as that fluidity instead of being like, a, a woman who sometimes gets butch. I am living with a new partner. He's uh, also like an artist and performer, and it's been so wonderful to actually be in a relationship with someone I can talk to about my work. When do you have to get your story back? There's no real deadline. They just said like early next week. <laughs> or I actually said early next week, and they were like, that's fine. I'm fully self-employed. I just do like contracts for much bigger organizations. Some kind of a jack of all trades type. Dev recently moved to a much more accessible apartment, a change that has made their life much easier. It feels like a, a milestone to be like, I live in a building with an elevator. My old place was a walk up when I was on the fourth floor, my laundry was in the basement. I would have to get help to carry my laundry up and down the stairs. Now I live in a building with an elevator and it feels so like fancy and like everything's just so much easier now that I'm not dealing with all of these tiny barriers to just everyday living. And these days, Dev is feeling much better physically. Pain isn't something I have to factor in 
to my every day, it's now this rare occurrence instead of like, oh, sorry, it's that six hour window where I can't do anything because it just sucks to be alive. Catch you later. Mm -hmm. Have fun. You Good too. Luck. Love you. Back then, I was so unsure of myself. I still sort of can't always believe that I am where I am in my life. I feel like I have everything that I felt like I needed in order to succeed, and I'm seeing that success play out. I feel like I'm more comfortable in not just my my body, but just who I am within my community and, and being someone who is doing the work to make change. I can't even imagine going back to who I was or where I was before this. I'm actually becoming the person that I wanted to be. If I had to give advice to other disabled folks looking for work, I think it would be make sure to take yourself seriously. Even if other people don't, you are gonna have to see the value in yourself when other people are kind of discarding you and push forward anyways. It's really important to have people in your corner who are gonna support you even when it's hard to do work yourself. This is Employable Me. Where are they now? Stream more AMI original content at AMI.ca.